Today, let's talk about how to start an evaluation of a ThinkGeo UI map control for .NET Core. First thing you want to do is head over to our website at thinkgeo.com, open up the Products menu, and click Start Building. From here, you'll be able to download Product Center, which is our application that gives you a window into evaluations and activations for all of our ThinkGeo UI controls. Click Download for Windows, and that will download this zip file for you. Once we have that downloaded, the first thing you want to do is right click and choose properties, then check the unblock box and hit OK. That'll make sure everything works as expected once you extract this. Then simply extract it to anywhere you like on your computer. I'm going to put it in my documents folder. Then once you go into that folder, you'll see a start thinkgeoproductcenter.bat file. Double click on that and that will start up Product Center for you after checking to make sure you have .NET Core installed. Now, go ahead and log in with your ThinkGeo account, or if you're new, click Create a New Account, and this will open a browser to our website where you can fill in a quick little form with your name, email address, and then a password of your choice, and click Register. Once you do that, you're going to get an email that looks like this. It asks you to activate your account by clicking that button. Make sure you do that or you won't be able to log in or start an evaluation. Once you activate, you'll get a second email that looks like this here, and it gives you some uh, information about how to use the ThinkGeo Cloud and start your evaluations and so on. With those credentials that you've created now, go ahead and log in to ThinkGeo Product Center. Now that you're logged in, simply choose the tile representing the product you'd like to start an evaluation for. I'd like to build a WPF desktop application with a ThinkGeo map inside, so I'll choose Desktop for WPF, and now I'll click Start Evaluation. That activates my 60-day evaluation license and enables me to begin development straight away. We have a great video that shows you how to get started on that. One of the best ways to do it is to go over to github.com slash thinkgeo and find our quick start projects. Simply search for quick start and then find the platform and .NET version that you're interested in. For example, WPF for .NET Core. Go ahead and download that repository and then open it up and simply build and run. And you'll see we've got a map that works just fine. It's got our uh, evaluation watermarks on it that tell us how many days we have left in our evaluation. At such time as you decide to purchase and activate the full version of ThinkGeo UI, those watermarks will disappear and you'll have a nice clean map to work with. And that's how you get started evaluating ThinkGeo UI. For further questions, feel free to email us at sales at thinkgeo.com or visit our website to set up a meeting with us to talk more about your application needs.